Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. There's a problem that I have that you guys point out in the comments a lot, and it's, it's a good criticism. And, you know, it's something that autistic people do. We tend to have this, this thing where it's very easy for us to misinterpret a joke, a meme, or a prank as something serious. And then we start trying to actually solve it, like it's a math equation or something, or like it's something that's meant to be solved, when in reality, it was just a joke. This is something that I think describes my entire business's relationship with the New York State and New York City government. And I would like to change the way that I deal with this in order to mold a little bit to the proper criticism that you've all, you all, all been giving me. Uh, so this is a letter that I received from the New York State Workmen's Compensation Board, and it has a fine on it for approximately $15,000. I'll show you this over here. So this is a fine... And you, you can see Workman's WC Noncompliance. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see it. I don't feel like scanning. It's kind of late. WC Noncompliance. And it's for $14,532.33. This is for not complying with the Workman's Compensation. This means that I did not have a Workman's Compensation policy for my employees. And the reason this is considered bad is if an employee hurts themselves in the job and you don't have Workman's Compensation, there's no way for that person to be compensated for them being hurt at work. And uh, this was a little strange to me because uh, I do have a workman's compensation policy for this employee. This employee works in Nevada. He lives in Nevada. He has never been to New York State in his natural life, and he has no plans or intentions of coming to New York State. So what I did is when I hired him to write guides for Repair.Wiki, which you can see over here, his name is Jesse Cruz, he writes excellent guides on how to do iPhone component level board repair, how to solve iPhones that randomly restart. He's a cool dude that's open to sharing his knowledge and information with the world, and I pay him for the work that he puts in to write these guides. So I got him a workman's compensation policy in the state of Nevada, so that if he gets hurt, if he gets a paper cut on his keyboard or something in the state of Nevada, or he gets carpal tunnel syndrome, that he can file his workman's compensation claim with Amtrust in the state of Nevada. I mean, I thought, but that's fine. So I figured, you know, okay, surely once I contact them, they'll understand that I have a policy. Well, after I contacted them, they sent me back more fine notices and said that I didn't have a New York policy. So I reach out to my insurance broker and I ask about this, and he informs me that since this employee lives and works in Nevada, that uh, if I had a New York State policy, he would actually not be covered under it. Meaning that if Jesse Cruz hurt himself in the state of Nevada and he filed a claim with my New York State policy that they're claiming I have to have, that he would not be covered. He would be entitled to nothing. They would not pay anything. Whereas the M-Trust policy would pay something out because that is a Nevada policy for him in the state of Nevada. So I explain this to them, and they're at le very least fully upfront and honest about two things. A, they acknowledge that if I had a New York State policy, that they would never pay Jesse Cruz a dime if he was hurt while working and living in the state of Nevada. B, they don't care. They want me to have a New York policy anyway. Does this make sense to you? Because it doesn't really make sense to me. So I provide them with all the evidence of the policy, and I show them the policy, and I think that's going to solve it. Because, again, I, I think that by presenting evidence, facts, reason, reality, that that will have a say on the outcome. And of course it doesn't because this is New York State. So I get a fine for $15,000 in the mail. At this point, I'm going to take my audience's advice, and I'm going to assume that this is a joke. So you're going to fine me for having a policy that does cover him, and the way to deal with the fine would be to get a New York State policy that wouldn't cover him. That must be a joke. So I'm going to respond in kind. So what I've done over here is I've prepared some uh, packaging materials for the, what I plan to send back, because I would like to have a little bit of a sense of humor the same way that they have with me for the past 15 years. This is a letter that I wrote. I'm going to read it to you. My apologies for the handwriting. Uh, before I read this to you, there is a confession that I have to make. There is a, um, a cock ring that I repaired on this channel a while back, and uh, I lied to you about this cock ring. If you take a look at these three videos, while I was fixing this cock ring, I claimed that it belonged to a customer. It bothered me that Trojan uh, sex toy manufacturer and condom manufacturer was producing a cock ring that was one-time use only. On Amazon, this is listed as a subscribe and save item. You're supposed to buy a new one with each use, and I found that to be offensive. This does not belong to a customer. This belongs to me. The reason I felt comfortable touching this cock ring without washing it off at all is because it has been on my cock, and it has touched my girlfriend. So, like, it's, it's just one of those things where I'm not... I, I, I lied to you, and I'm, I'm deeply sorry for that. But it's, it's important to understand that, to, un, to, to get the context of what I'm going to be doing here. Dear New York State, I see you believe I owe $15,000 for not having an insurance policy that would not have even covered my employee. 
I note that you also ignored the policy that did cover my employee. I believe this to be a joke, but I'll level with you. I'm a famous influencer with almost 2 million subscribers on YouTube. This ring has touched my cock and never been washed. Due to my notoriety and fame, I value this cock ring at $15,000. Kindly check store.rossmangroup.com for a proof of value. If you go to store.rossmangroup.com, you will find that this reputable site on the internet with over 1,000 five-star reviews on Google Places that is known worldwide for having economically viable and fair prices on consumer electronics and repair materials values this cock ring at $15,000. Also, it verifies the authenticity that this has never been washed and has been used by me. I trust that this settles the matter. You may keep the change. I don't want to be petty and ask for change back. Um, I, I value this at 15,000, they want 14,500. Well, let's split the difference. With love and a bit of bodily fluid, Louis Anthony Rossman. I am going to fold up this notice that they sent me and I'm going to take it along with my letter, along with my bubble mailer and my cock ring, and I'm going to put it on Patrick's desk. Patrick is the shipping clerk here at Rossman Repair Group, and I'm going to instruct him to send this back to New York State. Each and every time I get a fine like this from now until the end of time. Whether they're fining me for the crime of having insurance that does cover my employees when they openly admit that the insurance they want me to have wouldn't cover my employees, or them putting a lien and warrant on my company for taxes that I paid 12 years ago that I never knew about because they sent it to Berwick, Maine. From now on, I promise that every time I receive mail from New York City or New York State, I am going to take a used cock ring, I am going to include it in the packaging as a show of good faith, and I'm going to trust that that settles the matter. I usually end these videos by saying that's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. But in this case, it is I that have learned something from you. I have learned how to take a joke, and I've learned how to respond in kind. Thank you very much for this lesson. I've taken it to heart, and I imagine that it is going to result in a lot less stress going forward. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.